In this video we will try to fix HTTP error 500 in cPanel. HTTP error 500 is a generic error message that indicates something has gone wrong on the server, but it doesn't specify the exact issue. Here are some steps you can take to troubleshoot and potentially fix the HTTP error 500 in cPanel. Number 1. Begin by checking the error logs in cPanel. Look for any specific error messages that might give you a clue as to what's causing the problem. You can find error logs in cPanel under Metrics or Logs section depending on your cPanel version. Number 2. Review recent changes. Think about any recent changes you or someone else might have made to the website or server configuration. Sometimes, an update or a configuration change can lead to errors. Number 3. Review HT access file. A common cause of HTTP error 500 is a misconfigured HT access file. Temporarily rename or remove the HT access file from your website's directory and see if the error persists. If it resolves the issue, you can then carefully review and correct the syntax errors in the HT access file. Right click on the HT access file, then choose Edit, then click Edit as well. Now delete all the codes here and then click Save Changes. After that, try opening the site again. The problem may have been solved. Number 4. Check file permissions. Ensure that file and directory permissions are set correctly. Incorrect permissions can cause the server to throw a 500 error. Number 5. PHP configuration. If you're using PHP scripts, ensure that your PHP configuration is correct. Check for any syntax errors in your PHP files and make sure that your PHP version is compatible with your scripts. Number 6. Memory limits. Sometimes, the server's memory limits may cause a 500 error, especially if your website is resource intensive. You can try increasing the PHP memory limit in your PHP.ini file or via cPanel's PHP configuration. Number 7. Contact hosting provider. If you're unable to identify and fix the issue yourself, don't hesitate to contact your hosting provider's support team. They may be able to provide more specific guidance or even fix the problem for you. Remember to always back up your website files and database before making any significant changes, especially if you're not sure what caused the error. This ensures that you can easily revert to a working state if something goes wrong during the troubleshooting process. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.